It is time for the ultimate schmodown. And coming into the studio ready to do battle, the cage Whoa. is the one. The only. He was first known as Yodi on his first victory in a competitive game here on Schmoes No Movie Show. Mm -hmm. And now in Phase 5, he is the editor-in-chief of SchmoesNo.com. And he is the de facto favorite in the ultimate schmodown. Please welcome Mark Yodi Rivey! Um, Creepy. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Copster has just been stabbed. I didn't see who. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Why? Is, Why? Why this? It's Michael Myers. No. And he's looking at Roxy. No. Uh, Copster's yeah. still alive. Don't worry, everybody. Copster is still alive. Don't ah. Okay, he's dead now. He's definitely dead now. He is he is perished. He's gone. Michael Myers is slowly walking up to it's the desk. It's the eyes, man. Terrified. Believe me. Oh, my God. You, the home viewer, I'm trying to remain as calm as possible. There is a crazed lunatic in studio right now. The women are shrieking. I'm trying not to break. Cody is somehow filming this. Whoa. Like every other stoop that was Brando was filming it like it's a found footage movie. Next time, just run. Michael Myers. Scary. We can't clap. We can't clap. I'm gonna clap. I thought that was a great intro. Hey, oh, it's it was... Let's do this. <laughs> Yodi, what an entrance oh, in keeping with man. the spirit of the ultimate Schmodown. Another incredible entrance <laughs> by Mark Yodi Riley. Thank you. Congratulations, sir. So you came in, you stabbed some of uh, the other members of the crew. Thanks for sparing our lives. The ones no, that we... don't like chilies? The yeah, ones... no. <laughs> you guys need to run the show. Take them out. <laughs> you got to run the trivia. You know, the others, you know, screw them. Well, yeah. Now I really want you to win this because I don't want to face the wrath of Michael Myers should you lose. <laughs> uh, you are Leanne's favorite to win this. And if uh, you Thank win, you, and Leanne, Leanne will win a copy of the Earth Echo Blu-ray. However, you have a pretty formidable opponent. Yes, and I do. If he is ready to step out of his comfort zone, which is the engineer booth, and into the arena, I am pleased to present the challenger to Mark Yodi Riley, Josh the N G. <laughs> and so, my fellow Americans. Oh. Yeah. Oh my and God! Look at this. this. What your country can do for you, <laughs> ask what you can do for your country. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He has put together a mind. I mean, come on. If you don't love this, you don't love America. Freedom. Freedom. America. Hey. Liberty. Hey. And Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. <laughs> Hey, uh, yeah. What an inspirational Rocky Four like montage we were just treated to that was oh. very pro America. Josh the Engineer. Now, I guess that's a leg up you have on Yodi is that while he's slaving away on the website, he's editing, he's posting stories, he's working hard for us. The Engineer is at home editing together clips to get himself pumped up. <laughs> yeah, nice montage. The Where's mine? <laughs> You Jerk. Have like seven movies. So, well, <laughs> of First of all, and I know you're a great competitor. Yes, yes. You, you defeated me in trivia, even though I pitched a perfect game. I love that you're that you summarize America with fireworks, Chuck Norris, and us beating the Russians in the 1980 hockey. Liberty. Game. Yeah. Don't that was Rocky. in there too. Don't Don't Rocky. Freedom. Rocky. Some Rocky. And Rocky's Rocky. Rocky. Okay. Well, gentlemen, Mount you guys Gibson. are prepared to do battle. And yeah, remind you. Thanks to Copter for bringing this to my attention. There, at the beginning of this whole tournament, we did. Uh, <laughs> we, we said, okay, Schmova, we want you guys to go to the website and fill out your bracket to see who is going to win the ultimate Schmova. We had over 300 people fill yeah. out brackets. And now, how many do we have? Three. Whoa. Wow. There are three left. Two of them have Riley winning the whole thing. Really? One of them, some guy got really hammered. It might have been Roxy before we took her beer away <laughs> and voted for Chate wow. to so win the whole thing. It was like whiskey that day. Yeah, so if Chate yeah. wins tonight, then that then that person might be the closest thing we have to a winner, <sighs> yeah. and they might win the grand prize. But before we get to all that, you guys got to get through round one. You guys know how this works. Yeah. Round one is upon us. You guys are each going to have six questions. You cannot steal from your opponent in here. It's simply a yes or no. You got it right. You didn't get it right. And you each be awarded a 
point. I love the weird brotherhood that's happening here. He's I believe in America. He's wearing a Trojans patch. I don't know. That's, uh, that's my a, alma mater. I know. Hat. Fight on, baby. Fight, Fight on. on. Right in your I'm face. Using your own weapons against you. Yeah, yeah. Jete, you had try. such a great intro, but Riley right, yeah. is a on a murderous rampage, so I'm going to let him pick. Do you want category number one or category number two? Give me one. Ooh! He's taking one. He's cocky. He's confident. Okay. Then we're going to go to... Jete is going to be first up. Jete, in animated movies, Kung Fu Panda idolizes the Furious Five. Name three of the animals featured in the legendary martial arts group. Uh, Praya Mantis, a monkey, and a tiger. He came ready to play. Yeah. He came ready to play. Give him a hard-earned point. In the realm of action adventure, how many total Action Jackson films were made? One. Yay. He got that one. Wow. I know Apollo. They originally wanted to be a trilogy with Carl yeah, Weathers. Yeah, first didn't one happen. didn't yeah. do so well. In sci fi. Sci fi. <laughs> what do the humans use? What term do the humans use to refer to the aliens in District 9? Repeat the question. Oh. I need to hear it again. I know aliens aren't American, but you don't have to. What term Can I do buy the a humans use to refer to the aliens in District 9? Ooh. Okay, hold on. Um, He's cradling his American flag like it is his lover. That's a, bu- a bug of some sort. Mm, hold on. Sure it is. <laughs> it's a bug of some sort. I think there should be a countdown. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. lord. Five. Four, uh, three, scrubs, two. Scabs. Very close, but they are prawns. Prawns. He's the prawns. <laughs> that is what they're known as. I will now turn things over to Alicia Malone to ask Mark Riley his first three animated questions. Okay, in animated, Damn it. name five of the seven dwarves. Oh. oh. Grumpy, sneezy, dopey, happy, and uh, Doc. Oh, oh man! That's awesome. Somebody's been dating Great a girl question. for a while. In uh. action adventure, Harry Tasker is the hero from which 1990s action blockbuster? Harry Tasker. Uh, 19 what? 1990s. Uh. Cops Harry just holding Tasker. his face. He can't handle it. Look at the focus on both of these competitors' eyes. They know this is round three. Yeah, is it uh. Gonna have to give you a hard Tasker. count. Five. True lies? Four. Yes. Wow, nice steal. Okay. I did not expect that. Okay. And in sci fi, in which state does ET take place? Washington, Cali, New Mexico, or Oregon? Cal- uh, it's California. Yes, okay, it is. he got it. Got to get an ET one. And now Mark Riley takes a ever so three slim to three to two Ooh. lead. Okay, back to you, Chate. In comedy. Chris Farley and David Spade must save which auto factory in the film Tommy Boy? McAllen's. What, what, what do you say? McAllen. It's like McAllen. McCall- I, I, I cannot it wrong. accept that. You I cannot, cannot accept that. I don't no, be, no, because it's not McAllen. It okay. is Callahan. Callahan. Okay. And that is a very <laughs> You had to give me something where I had, pro- oh, I had pronounced God. something. You lived up to your <laughs> reputation. Oh, no. McAllen. Oh, McAllen. No. Oh. Why did it have to be a Oh, oh. Liam oh. Nielsen in a, the house. You couldn't give me a multiple choice on that? Oh. You can't give me a multiple choice? Uh, there was a scene no. cut out of Tommy Boy where they ran into Dolph Lundgren at a restaurant. Keep going. Rom-com. That's going to eat me. Who won the Best Actress Oscar for her role in As Good As It Gets? Hell not. Okay, he's yeah. back on the train. Back Here we go. Train. Fire, baby. Bring the fire. America. And in the name, uh, in, in the name of horror, <laughs> okay. what, was, what was the name to the sequel of The Blair Witch Project? I want this to be remade. What was the oh, name the of, t- What's the name of the sequel? Of the sequel to The Blair Witch Project. Tough. Blair Witch 2. Uh, <laughs> You're on a roll. God. Okay. Which two? Hold McCallahan on. McCallahan strikes no, no, back. No, no, no. Nice deal. Five. Season of the Witch. Four. Three. Book of Shadows. Book of Shadows. Season wow. of the Witch. We're That's for. Halloween three. three. Who watches that movie? I would that never part two is the worst that. piece That's of crap That's why it should film. be remade. Uh, America, I'm happy I don't know that. <laughs> All right. Riley, we're going to let another beautiful woman ask you questions. Roxy, you're just going to be going from number one, one, and one. Okay. Um, in comedy, name a Monty Python film besides Holy Grail. Monty kidding? Python and the Meaning of Life. There it is. Are okay. you kidding me? Ding, ding. That's like asking me a different movie than Rocky One. Uh-huh. I could have named Rocky Two, Three. Four. Okay. We gave you McCallahan. Um, we're going to rom coms. 
What artistic pursuit is the dream of Jason Siegel's character in Forgetting Sarah Marshall? A puppeteer. <laughs> The, the, the American flag is now at half mast. Oh, no. These are so You're easy. Still Go in the ahead. Game. No, keep the flag high. Come on, man. All right, horror. Which horror movie was released in 1980? Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Shining, or Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th. He's wrong, folks. Yeah, that's incorrect. <laughs> oh, uh, what is it? It was the shining. I don't know what shining. that was, but that wasn't right. Great the <laughs> But the, right. the point is, it was wrong. Dryer. Okay, so Riley, I believe Riley is Riley has five points, Ken. It is five three, five three. Okay, Riley is up five to three on Jate. This is about three. what we expected, yeah. I yeah. think, in yeah. uh, in the first round so far. And now uh, we're gonna have Riley pick his category for round two. Let's see what he gets. Well, 80s movies. Mm. Ooh. 80s he's movies. Keep it. Okay. Keep it. Keep oh, it. he keeps it. Keep it. Keep it. He's going to keep it. Huh. All right. All right. And I would like to point out that there are a couple categories in there that um, we might have to strike from the record. <laughs> Just because they've been used so much. And great. Obviously, I didn't edit that before the show. So, all right. Yep, yep. Riley? Yes. In the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit, mm -hmm. what's the potion that frightens tunes the most? The dip. Give him a point. Yeah. Give him a wow. point. No hesitation Ooh, there. Good work. What a pro. The music of Jackie Wilson <gasps> makes everything ooze with dance moves in this 1980s film. Can I ask a schmo? You can ask a schmo. By the way, that's a, that, thank you for pointing that out. You can ask a schmo, and the schmoes tonight are going to be either me or Alicia Malone or Roxy. You can ask any one of us for the answer, and we'll either give you a correct or an incorrect film uh, as the answer. And, and what was the question again, please? The music of Jackie Wilson makes everything ooze with dance moves in what 1980s film? Uh, Alicia. Guys, pass this check. That's correct. That is correct. That is correct. You did an interesting thing with like the question mark at the end, almost, well, that's just Alicia. My yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everything sounds like a question. <laughs> All right, Riley. How many times this year has Ferris Bueller been absent? Shit. Ooh, hard one. How many times this year there is no schmo that can save you now? Yeah. You're schmoless. <laughs> yeah, totally schmoless. If he doesn't get it right, then Jate can steal, and we're going to have to go ahead and... Nine times. Oh, man, yes. he got it. Wow, he you were melting. Yeah. Nine, Nine times. times. Oh, I, I, just, I just had to go to the Rolodex. Nine I could quote times. that movie. I thought I, I thought I had to steal there because I was like, oh, I know it's nine. Oh, <laughs> that's Damn crazy. It. All right. Jeez, and me. finally, what actor narrates the film Stand By Me? You got uh, it. Richard Dreyfuss. Okay. Hey, it's a, it's a question on the list. Bring that damn bag over. <laughs> All right. Here comes the bag. Riley with a four for four performance. Ooh. Very, very impressive, sir. Well done. Yeah. And now should take. It really has to step up to the plate now. I got alien movies. Okay. I'm going to put it back. I'm not huge He's putting back alien movies. Okay. Uh, He's putting big, back alien big, movies. You got to be confident with your pick, babe. Let's yeah. go. Hoping for Rocky. <laughs> Ro yeah, Rocky would be fantastic right now. <laughs> Holiday movies. That's no. worse. <laughs> oh. Holiday movies. I need the confidence. <laughs> Team JT, let's go. I'll, Holiday. I hope these are all 4th right. of July questions. Go these ahead. These are all 4th <laughs> of July. Yes. All right. Okay. Holiday movies. What is the name... Of Macaulay Culkin's character in Home Alone. Why is I, I'm getting all names and I can't pronounce crap. <laughs> Dude, this is um, uh, Kevin McAllister. Yeah. Yeah. See, you got to got use it. your Mick finally. You got to you got to say Mick yeah. something and actually have it be right. That must have been so nice for you. All right. Holiday movie. <laughs> oh, yes, that is what? the category. So this morning I woke up and... What two stars duke it out for a popular toy in the film Jingle All the Way? Sinbad and Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I like you're a true American leading off with worried, Sinbad. I was worried you were gonna, you'd want the last name for Sinbad. Like, <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh. What was the angel's name in the film It's a Wonderful Life? Oh, come on. Oh, man. Mm. I haven't seen that in so long. It was. Yeah, I think even Ken Knapsack knows this one. Yeah, the angel's name, and it's. A was it something life. McCallahan? <laughs> I was thinking, you know, Brian. Denny. You know what? If you get close to his name, I'm going to go ahead yeah. and give you credit. Um. But you got to do it now. Five, four, Gabriel, three, I have no idea. two. Alicia hit him. 
Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Whoa. He can steal. Oh, that's right. Wow. I, what a, what America a, plays by the rules. What a sportsman right there. <laughs> you didn't there. want to Riley. ask a schmo? Can you steal? Oh, I forgot about ask a schmo. No, you can, you know, yeah. you can still employ ask a schmo. Can I still want. play ask a schmo? Yeah. yeah. All right. I will ask a schmo. I will ask. Cheating I'll ask Alicia. Can you ask me twice? Uh, uh, no, no. We just the, did. They just yet. did. Okay. No, you just asked Alicia. Yeah, yeah. George. True. <laughs> So upset that she gave you an eh. Riley, can you steal? Uh, You've had nine years to think about this question. Yeah, what do you I got? know. I, 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 oh, it's that's why I get for not asking it. American. Is it Frank, I don't I know. I mean, I'm Team JTE. I why would you like? What was that? She's a classic movie. Buff. Okay, Ken, do you want to say the answer? Yeah, come on, Ken. No, 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 no. I don't. I uh, no. Come I, on, he doesn't Ken. know. Oh, I what thought you know. Okay, we should tell him the answer. I don't know either. All right. Neither do I. <laughs> I don't know George. Yeah. She doesn't even know it. What? I didn't write the question. It's not on here. I know this movie. Well, what's the answer? What's the answer? We, we honestly. Clarence. So I, I might be right with Clarence. my friend. It was she Clarence. could be right with George. Clarence. It was Clarence. It was Clarence. Okay. It was Clarence. That's right. Clarence. Okay. Clarence. Okay. If That's you'd okay. asked me, I would, said, Ricardo, you I would have said Ricardo. You would have known I was lying. Settle down. Here we go. Back to holidays. What Die Hard star also appears in another Christmas classic, Love Actually? Alan Rickman. Very good. Wow. There you go. Give him a point. Woo! All right. And we got... That's we got, my boy. We got one more. Uh, I need to uh, interject here. There's been... Uh, on the previous answer to the horror released in 1980, you answered Friday the 13th. Yeah. And the answer was Shining. Yeah. That's also correct. Oh, oh we have a... Uh, wow. He doesn't get the point. I knew that? that was... No, it. he does get the point. Well, I yeah. knew. Yeah, he gets the point because... Because that's when it came out. Yeah. So yeah. you gave him two... A possible four answers. You gave him two that were right. That oh, that's correct. true. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Look, we're gonna we're, we're gonna Half go back. Point. We're gonna go back, and we're we're gonna yes. we're gonna we're gonna look at this. And I want to thank you for bringing it to our attention. The show has officially come off the rails. Controversy. It only took Every an time hour I'm in the studio, yeah, I think it might have something to do with you. Keep your eye on your own paper, okay? Yeah. Let's yeah. see what you can do there. I did yeah. get the point though. No, yeah. he doesn't get the yeah, point. Yeah, but you had two. Out we're, of gonna four let, right. you had we're, we're gonna let we're gonna let Commissioner Knapsack go in the back and decide where he gets the point. In the meantime, we still have Jate working on holiday movies. Here we go. What was Bill Murray's occupation? In the modern take on a Christmas Carol, Scrooged. He was a producer for television. Very good. Give him the point, Kenny. Give him the point. And now we are going to move on to round three. But first, Kenny, uh, I'm going to need a ruling from you on whether Riley, in fact, gets that point from round one. Now, keep in mind, we do have a backup question, and it is about The Shining. And I think that that probably is the way to go. To be fair to everybody, we have another question that is based around the film The Shining for Mark Riley. If we want to go to that. Ding, ding, ding. Look, I think he answered the question correct. Thank you. What is the name of the hotel in The Shining? The Overlook. Okay, give him yeah. the point. All right, all give right. him the point. It's so right. another question right. on the board. He what's earned what's it. the total right now? Six. Uh, no, excuse me. It is uh, Eight, ten. Seven. Two, seven. It is ten to seven ten right now. Ladies seven. and gentlemen, we All are right. entering round three. I'm feeling good. Of the ultimate showdown, and we have another final round where it's the betting of the points, where everything <sighs> is going dizzy. to rest. This yes. is so exciting. Riley's in the lead with I'm not ten. looking at ten. That ten. You're look, at ten. Look what he's doing. He's not looking at everyone. You're at ten. Yeah. And what corner. you have to do is pull a, is pull a category. Mm-hmm. And we're going to let Jate pull the category. Okay. Because he first? is losing. Do we bet first or we pick the category first? Uh, I believe you pick the category okay. first. Okay. And then so you're going to write down. Yeah. Give me something good. I'm annoyed at myself for forgetting that one. Yeah. <laughs> Clarence? Yeah, this yeah I went to you for classics. So just comic like, book and movies. Oh. Comic book and movies. Comic book and movies. Oh. Comic book <laughs> so many places you could go with this. Comic movie. book movies. Because hmm. I want it all. All right, we we need to Whoa. we need to pull up a comic book movie here. Anyway, do you not have a comic book question? Uh, we don't have a comic book category as far as I'm as far as I was. Uh, do quoted. we pick again? What happens? Here? Um, you might have to pick again. <laughs> Command F. There's oh, a no. like a, there's a conspiracy. <laughs> it's you. There's like the JFK a, assassination, something is going down. There's not a conspiracy. Back and to the left. Yeah. All right, go ahead and pick a backup category oh, in case heard. we do not have. This is our well, then this I, is our water game. Movie. Fair enough. Get, I'm crossing out my yes, bet then because I'm doing the same I am, thing. You're yes. you're totally allowed to do oh, that. Thank you. Yeah. And also. I apologize to everybody out there nervously watching in Schmoville. Is that <sighs> we don't have a category of comic book movies? Yeah. Let's pull three people. It's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I really like that category too, man. I, I really know. like that category. We all like comic book movies. We talked about them for an hour today. We all are a big fan of them. However, God bless not America happening. and God bless John Claude Van Damme. Oh, see, this could be it. 
This is why we didn't have comic book movies oh. as a question. We now have Jean-Claude Van Damme. How are we feeling? As the final category in the ultimate schmodown. You guys have <laughs> already written down what your wager is. Riley is very nervous. Jute looks as confident as an American can be when he's got to answer a question about somebody from Belgium. And the question is this. In the Jean-Claude Van Damme Oscar-winning classic, <laughs> Sudden Death, which hockey team is playing a home game in the movie? Oh, wait a minute. The film Sudden Death, which hockey team is playing a home game? Now, ladies, I don't know if you've ever seen the Jean-Claude Van Damme film Sudden Death. I have not. So it's kind of like Die Hard, except it's with Van Damme, and terrorists take over a hockey arena during Game 7 of the Stanley oh. Cup Finals. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. And you, you wouldn't believe it. some point in the movie, Van Damme, in saving the entire arena, has to suit up as the goalie and go out on the ice Does he do and a play a few minutes. Kick as well? Sounds like they need some America. He roundhouse kick. He roundhouses pucks out of the way. Yeah. We are now going to have to say, put your pens down. Hold on, let me just finish this up. For the question, which, what are you drawing a yes. picture there? Come on. Yeah, my pen is things. All right. I got it wrong. Okay. No, I got it wrong. Which hockey team is playing a home game in the Van Damme Classic, Sudden Death? <laughs> oh, we are going to go to Jete first. Wait, how many go, Riley. Uh, yeah. uh, how many points did you wager, Jete? I bet all seven points. You bet all seven points, Riley. How many points did you bet? I bet four. Oh, this is going to be good. That's we, smart. We, we, could got it wrong. we could potentially have a tie uh -huh. if you both get it right. Okay, well, let, you me, tell your answer. let me just say, mm -hmm. I love Van Damme movies. You, you, by the way, you had yes. a hockey clip in your yeah, little montage. I did. And yeah. son, the film you're talking about is probably the one I've seen the least. Okay, that's a very interesting subplot. I do not remember for the life of me what team it was. Which hockey team did you pick? I took a guess. I put the New York Rangers. That is incorrect. I knew it. The New York Rangers are not correct. Mark Riley, do you have the answer? Yeah, I put the Rangers, too. <laughs> That's bizarre. Jete has no points left, and Mark Riley no. is the winner so there's of two round brackets. three what? of the Ultimate Schmodown. And for those of you keeping score at home, it was the Pittsburgh Penguins. Somewhere Josh McCuga is pulling his hair out I don't watching know, but this. I, I'll take that win. Mark Hey, Riley buddy, that, you're a good one. No, you are a good one. No, okay, America wins. Takes your America flag wins. and goes home. Mark he Riley gets stabbed the in the back by okay. Michael Myers in a contest, ladies. It featured everything. We had a little bit of controversy there. Yep. I think we cleaned it up okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We, totally. There was some blood spilled. Some, we some mopped it up. Loss. We got through it. And Fight Mark on, Riley, mm -hmm. a lot of people, and by a lot of people, I mean two people yeah, left. Two. <laughs> Mark Riley advancing. <laughs> the majority of the people left. That was a tough one. Yeah. That's right. That this was a tough one. Very, very that John Van, uh, John Von, whatever yep. Van Damme Jesse thing. Rating. No, can't and do it. And next week in the Ultimate Showdown, Kenny, correct me if I'm wrong, it's going to be Christian Harloff going up against Josh McCuga for the wow. other bracket in the Final Four. That's exciting. Well, look, that is all the time Congrats, that we have. Riley.